ever like catch yourself watching someone just someone who like lights up a room mm -hmm. they're just laughing with friends you know lost in the moment and you think whoa i want that yeah. like i want that feeling again i know exactly what you mean i'm just like it's a feeling so many parents especially you know moms yes they grapple with this this feeling of losing a little bit of their own spark after having kids and that's what we're diving into today right right using your source material the finding the light again yeah. podcast we'll explore why this happens and importantly what we can do about it yeah because okay it's one thing to hear someone describe that feeling, that erg. I feel like I've lost myself a little bit kind of thing. Yeah. But this podcast, Absolutely. it's packed with stories mm -hmm. that make it so relatable. Like there was this one about the mom who saw this other woman at the park. Right. And she was just radiating pure joy. And it sparked this almost like envious question. Where did my light go? Yeah. And it's so real, right? Mm -hmm. It is about this, this fundamental shift in your identity totally. before kids. Mm -hmm. It's like our lives, they revolve around our own aspirations, passions, mm -hmm. freedom to just be, you know? Yeah. Then parenthood. Yeah. Parenthood arrives, beautiful, demanding. It just recalibrates everything. Oh yeah. Suddenly the needs of these little humans, they take center stage. They really do. Front and center. Okay, but the podcast hosts, Yeah. they, they put it perfectly. What'd they say? They were talking about that never ending cycle. Oof of chores, caregiving, and one of them said something like five minutes without someone needing something is basically a vacation. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I literally laughed out loud because it's so true. It's so true. Humor is essential here, right? Yes. But, jokes aside, like this dimmed light feeling, mm -hmm. it goes deeper than just being tired, right? Yeah. Our sources are pointing to finding the light mm -hmm. as reconnecting with your passions and values mm -hmm. that might have sort of take it a backseat during parenthood. Yeah. Think about it. The hobbies that you adored, the deep conversations you had with friends. It all goes. They often get pushed aside. They do. They yeah. really do. And then the guilt comes, right? Yes. Yes. <sighs> the mom guilt, the parent guilt. Because of course you love your kids. Of course. More than anything. More than anything. But there's this tiny voice whispering in your ear going, am I allowed to miss my old life? Yes. Is wanting my own happiness self? And that guilt, it's incredibly common. It is. And the Finding the Light Again podcast, they really dig into why that is. Okay. But it's important to remember, and they said this too, this isn't about being ungrateful for your family. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Of course not. It's about recognizing a fundamental psychological need for self-fulfillment. Okay. It's about refilling your own cup so you can, in turn, pour into theirs. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So so if you're listening and thinking, this is me, I'm living this right now, Yeah. you are so not alone. So not alone. Imagine this. You're at the park. Okay. But you're not the one with that carefree laugh. Right. You're the one longing for a nap. Yep. And maybe five minutes to remember what you even used to enjoy doing for yourself. Yes, 100%. And yeah. that's where understanding why this matters is so crucial. Okay. The podcast makes a really compelling argument, and I think mm. you'll agree. Acknowledging these feelings, it isn't selfish. Right. It's actually essential for your well-being. Okay. And your ability to be the best parent you can be. Yeah. Which is, I think, what we all want. See, I'm glad they addressed that because I think so many parents, especially moms, they struggle with that. They do. It's like you get so caught up in the role of mom or dad mm -hmm. that you forget you're a whole complex person outside yeah. of that. Yes, you are. So how do we how do we start to unpack that? Ooh, that's good. Yeah. The podcast hosts offered a really interesting perspective on that. Um, oh. So they challenged this idea mm -mm. that me time has to be this like luxurious, unattainable thing. Like, yeah, a week at a spa sounds amazing. Sign me up. Right. But who has time for that? Exactly. Instead, they emphasize the power of, like, reclaiming small pockets of agency. Okay. Throughout the day. And that's where it starts to feel doable. Right. Because they gave some really specific examples, like even just setting a timer for 15 minutes each day. Yeah. And dedicating that time to a personal goal, no matter how small, did that did that resonate with you at all? Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. It's about shifting our perspective. Right. From all or nothing mm. to what can I do today right. to nurture myself, even just a little bit. Yeah. Remember those hobbies we were talking about? Yeah. The ones that felt impossible to fit in anymore? Yep. 
This is where those can start to creep back in. Yes. The podcast host, they called it becoming masters of reinvention. Oh, I like that. Finding ways to to weave your passions into this new chapter, even if it looks different than before. Yeah, yeah. Like, I used to be a huge hiker. And now, well, chasing a toddler around the playground is about as adventurous as it gets <laughs> some days. But that's a perfect example, though, of how we can adapt without giving up entirely. Right. Maybe it's not a solo trek through the mountains. Yeah. But what about a family walk in the park or strapping your little one into a carrier yeah. and exploring a new trail together? Mm. You're still connecting with nature, with your love of hiking, but in a way that works for this stage of life. I love that. Right. It's about getting creative and remembering that our passions don't have an expiration date just because we became parents. They don't. And speaking of connection, yeah. the podcast also had some really insightful things to say about the power of connecting with other adults who get it. Yes, that's such a critical point Ooh. and one they emphasize repeatedly. It's not just about finding time for ourselves. It's about fostering connections that nourish us. And they specifically yeah. highlighted the importance of open communication with your partner. Oh, yeah. It's about sharing the mental load, being honest about your needs, and working together to create space for both of you to thrive. Because let's be honest, that mental load can be a huge weight to carry alone. Huge. And it's not always easy to admit that we need a break. Right. Or that we're feeling a little lost. But the podcast host, they shared some research that really struck me. And it was how for mothers especially joining support groups okay or finding your village even if it's just online it's been shown to reduce stress hormones what? and improve overall well-being that's huge what's so fascinating here is how powerfully that sense of community combats the isolation yes that so many parents experience particularly mothers yeah you know and they talked about how these groups provide a safe space to vent yeah to share advice and to realize oh i'm not the only one who feels this way right it's like that saying, a burden shared is a burden halved, except in this case, it's not just about burdens. It's about rediscovering those parts of yourself that maybe got a little dimmed. And you know what really brought that home for me? What's that? They shared a story about this mom joined this online support group. Okay. And she was saying it felt like someone had thrown open a window. Oh, wow. And let the fresh air in. Yeah. She'd been feeling so isolated, so alone in those feelings. Right. Yeah. And suddenly she had this whole network of women who like got it, you know, totally. <laughs> who understood exactly what she was going through. It's amazing how, yeah, just knowing you're not alone, that can make all the difference. It makes all the difference in the world. It really does. But they didn't they didn't leave us with just like a warm, fuzzy feeling or anything right. like, yay, join a group. It wasn't like that. They ended with this really powerful question. OK. Something they encouraged listeners to to really sit with. I like that. They said, imagine yourself a year from now, feeling that sense of joy and light that we've been discussing, mm -hmm. that reconnection with yourself. What small step taken consistently over these months would have made the bigger difference? Ooh, I love that they asked that because it takes the pressure off. Right. Needing a massive overnight transformation, yeah, right? It it's about identifying that one small change, that one tiny shift that could have this ripple effect on everything else. And the beauty of it is it starts today. Exactly. It starts with that first step, however small. However small, absolutely. What like what resonated with you from their suggestions? You know, for me, it was that reminder to reclaim even just 10 minutes each morning. Yeah. They talked about how even that short window before the chaos of the day starts right. can be enough to center yourself. Maybe enjoy a cup of coffee in peace or like write in a journal. Totally. It's about creating a ritual, however small, that nourishes your soul. Yes, 100%. It's about reclaiming those little pieces of yourself, those moments of joy and presence and weaving them back into your days. Yeah. Maybe for you listening right now, it's, you know, digging out that old sketch pad. Yes. Dusting off those hiking boots or or texting that friend that you've been meaning to reconnect with. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. What matters is that you take that first step. And you know what I appreciate most about this whole deep dive? What's that? Is it doesn't offer these empty platitudes or unrealistic expectations. You know, it right. acknowledges the very real, very valid challenges of parenthood. Yes. Especially for mothers. Yes. Who often shoulder a disproportionate amount of the mental and emotional load. They do. But it also reminds us that we are not destined to feel dimmed forever. I are not. It's a journey. Yeah. It's not a quick fix. 
you know? Right. And sometimes the most profound transformations, yeah, they come from those small, consistent acts of self-care and connection. It's true. So to our listener, we leave you with that question, that invitation. Yes. To imagine yourself a year from now, brimming with that light. Yes. And to remember that spark within you. It never went out. It never did. It might just need a little fanning of the flames. A little fanning.